Alright guys, today we're going to be doing a review of the FT Electro Hope. As of the recording of this video, it is not out yet. So this is kind of like a pre-release. Um, and I just want to go over my thoughts on how it works. The good and the bad about it. And all that stuff. So if you've been following my um, YouTube channel for the past month and month and a half now, you'll see I've had a lot of videos up. Um, like Badlands and Colorado, Canada, a whole bunch of different places over on that side of the states. And we went on a huge road trip and we we're out for like one month almost. We did 210 hours and I took this whole setup that you see right here with me. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, the first time we got out, I broke two booms, they just split. But other than that, the whole time we never crashed. And um, this Electro Hub works so good. I was so impressed with it. It's also a power distributor. I'm gonna zoom in here and just show you some of the stuff. So you can actually do an octocopter, but I only have a hexacopter on it right now. These bolts you just screw in, as you see right in there. I just screwed two bolts in into the wood. I put 10 inch booms across it, so it makes it roughly 24 inches long. These holes, you'll see these holes around each side. That's for like break points so that when I crash, it breaks here instead of back here. So we'll see how that works. I've never crashed it yet. Not even broken a prop, but this thing worked great. There's actually a power distributor that's inside of it. I was just wanting a better power distributor than what I did have. So what I did have is this thing from uh, Mojave King, which does not work at all. When I use this, it would get my um, quadcopter, the engines on it, after just flying a little over a minute or two minutes, it'd be burning hot. So, um, I mean, burning hot. So what I ended up just doing was chopping the two wires off here and pretty much scrapping this. But underneath this, I'll show you in a second, what's happened is they have a whole bunch of different solder points. And um, pretty much like at the bottom of this right here, I'll try and zoom in and show you this. See, so right there, there's little solder points. And I just soldered on bullet connectors all the way around like this, but in here, so that now, if an engine or an ESC or something like that goes out, all I have to do is unplug it and replug it back in so that's a really nice feature as you can see right now about right there is a bullet connector looking straight at us them are just all around this thing because it has that the um power distributor and uh that is so nice having that power distributor and another thing i really like with this is the fact that right here i'll zoom in on it so you can see it Right here you see a little positive and negative, so you can plug in if you want lights. But for me, for aerial filming right now, because I only film, you know, earlier morning and later night, but not like dark, so I can see this thing really good, I will be soldering a wire harness that leads to my gimbal over here. So down here, get shit down there, is my gimbal, and right now I, I have a battery on it, so you know, it's a little bit of extra weight, not much obviously, okay, but still it's weight. Um, yeah, so I just plug this wire here into a power lead from here, because these here little things are literally all around this for eight motors, or for, I think eight motors, eight or six motors, yeah, six engines. So there's one actually right under this, and then I just plug it up and it'll always be plugged up, so I plug up my bad. So I plug up my batteries back here, instant power to my gimbal. So it'll be really nice. And if anyone's interested, this hexacopter you see right here will be for sale. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, the whole hexacopter, the KK 2.1 control board, um, you know, these are Hobby King 20 MPSCs, DST um, 1200 KV engine, I think it's 1200 KV engine but they're um, called DST 1200s. Uh, the gimbal down here, a Turnigy 9X remote, 
So it's it'll be pretty much plug and play. You plug in your batteries and you go fly. And the footage I've captured from this is, well, you see my videos for the last month almost, are phenomenal. So, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know if there's any other videos you want to see. Bye.